Hey Gear Junks, new day, new video. And today we're going to talk about the Behringer Poly D. So the Behringer Poly D is a four voice parabolic synthesizer and Panaphonic is not polyphonic. Uh, the name suggests uh, polyphonic but it isn't. Uh, what is polyphonic? Well, it's easy. Uh, you can um, you have one voice per oscillator. So if you put it in poly mode, this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. Maybe not the nicest sound, but you get the sound. And in uni, uh, you only get two. And mono is of course mono. Okay, let's take a closer look to the poly D. From left to right, uh, tuning, uh, glide, uh, modulation mix and the poly unison or mono mode. Four oscillators, uh, three of them. You can adjust your frequency like in the mini moog and of course your waveforms. This is the mixer for your uh, oscillator, mixer for your volume in and your noise. You have white and pink noise. Filter mode, this is of course your filter, uh, filter attack, decay and sustain. And this is for your amplifier attack, decay and sustain. Here you have distortion, it's a DS1 and a unit 60 uh, chorus uh, which are two modes and your sequencer basic sequencer for a pregiator and it has a step sequencer um, easy to use uh, not easy to save sounds and that's the only downside of it volume and your headphone you can boost your sound by putting the headphone out in the input like I said, this is your volume control. I have normal sound. And get the much, much richer sound. The Poly D has a three octave uh, keyboard. It's touch sensitive and it has aftertouch. And the uh, aftertouch you also can uh, apply on the real side. So, uh, here are your controls and if you put this, for example, to the filter, now you have aftertouch on your filter. You can also do this with uh, the velocity and that's also put in in the rear. And of course you all want to know how it sounds, let's go.
Okay, this is the end of this video. So what I think about the uh, Behringer Poly D. Well, it's a great synthesizer for the price. You get a terrific sound, good keyboard. It feels good. Everything feels steady. Okay, the, the sequencer uh, uh, saving is a little bit um, uh, doshy, hush, and a little bit difficult, uh, especially for the software. But um, that's it, I think. So for the price, for the money, Great synthesizer, great sound. So if you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel. And if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time.